Okay, welcome back for part three. We're going to do some renders, make some small changes to the scene and the render settings, and hopefully make some improvements to get closer to our final image. So let's render this out, right? We've got everything set up here. Let's just press F12 and render it out and see what we get. Okay, so that took just under 20 seconds. And that's not a terrible render, but let's improve it. Before we do, let's switch this to slot number two, and then we can compare our renders. Let's do two things. Let's set up some denoising to clean things up a little bit. We'll do that from compositing. In the compositor window, I'll use nodes, and I will go into the layers and turn on denoising data. You can see over here, as soon as I turn on denoising data, it adds more outputs to this render layers node. And if we run that information through a filter that's a denoising filter, we can denoise this image a lot more effectively than Blender's uh, denoising that happens during the rendering. So we can plug the noisy image, the denoising normal, and the denoising albedo into here. And then we can plug this output into the actual composited image. And then we're going to get a cleaner image. Let's go ahead and render that. So the purpose of the denoising is to just give us a little bit cleaner of an image. When we toggle using the keys on the number row on the top of the keyboard, when we press 1 for slot 1 or 2 for slot 2 and we toggle, you can see how noisy this image is. And then the denoiser cleaned it up a little bit. So we'll go to slot 3 and we'll go over here, uh, we'll go over here to the scene dimensions and we're going to make this 50% resolution. And then we will increase the sample size to 32 and then do another render. So doing 50% resolution made the render much faster. We were able to double the samples. We get a smaller image, but right now we're just in this prototyping phase, you know, we're tweaking things. We don't want renders to take a long time on each render. We want to get a quick final view of a denoised image and see how this thing looks, you know. So reducing the resolution from 100% to 50%, which is basically half of 1080p resolution, is giving you a quicker, better idea. If you can look at renders in 15 seconds or less, you'll be much happier than just sitting twiddling your thumbs for two or three minutes waiting for a render. Switch this to slot four, and then let's make the HDRI a little less bright. It's kind of doing too much to the scene. I don't need my shading window open anymore, so I'll go back to full screen. And then let's go back to the world settings, and let's take the strength of this HDRI image, and let's reduce it by half. I already like that. That looks a little bit moodier, a little bit nicer. Let's render that out. F12. And then let's compare them. Let's use 3 and 4 on the number row and compare. The scene is a lot more washed out, too bright. The scene in 4 is a little darker. The color feels a little richer. The scene feels a little warmer, less sterile. Overall, that's already a nice improvement. So I think we'll leave it like that. Let's go to slot 5. And then... Let's think about if we want to add any other tiny little details to this. What might be kind of cool is if it looked like there was glass in these panes, but not in this one, right? So, if we select this window frame, go into edit mode, and we pick one edge here, duplicate it, separate it, select it, go into edit mode, Let's just take that glass and uh, actually in object mode, let's move it back a little bit. 
then in edit mode with face snapping selected so let's extrude it down and snap it to right there now it's a little thick so let's go to its modifier and reduce its thickness then let's grab this edge and then let's grab it on the y-axis and snap it to there and then let's duplicate the whole thing move it on the y-axis and snap it right there okay so then in object mode let's grab this window pane duplicate it on the y-axis snap it to here in edit mode grab its edge on the y-axis and snap it to here take this edge on the z-axis and snap it to here now we've got some windows in there let's open a shading window let's go to these windows but I'm going to go to the material tab I'm going to change this material not metal we want a new material this would be the windows and then let's change this to the shader editor and now let's ditch the principal BSDF let's add a glass shader add a transparent shader And then let's add a mix shader. Let's plug these in. Let's change these to the windows. So we can change the transparency here. First, let's give the glass a color, like a slightly bluish color. You can see it in our little preview image down there in the lower right. If we make a significant enough change, you can see what the difference that it's making. I don't think we really want it to be too different. Just kind of give this scene a sense of something there. And now if you want the glass more transparent, change this factor. I think we'll see this better in cycles. You can make this less transparent, more transparent. Find somewhere in between that you like. Now let's render that out, F12. Okay, so that looks good. If you don't like the waves looking that close, if that looks a little bit to you like, I don't know, it's too close, it just doesn't seem realistic, let's do this. Let's go to the HDRI, and then let's lower this horizon down a little bit and see how it looks, or, or draw the image closer in, right? Let's move the location on the Z-axis and see what we get. Maybe that's a little better, right? Let, let's render that. Let's see what, what it looks like. I kind of like that. It's more of just this feeling of the sky and the distance. It's a little hard to tell what we're looking at, though, if that's water or if it's land or what. So let's move it a tiny bit. Let's go 0 0.05. Try point zero four, and then we don't need this shader editor right now, so let's get full screen again. And then on the window frame in edit mode, let's take all these vertices and let's move these up a little bit so we just see our sun better. Let's render that. There's a little better sense of water here now. 
I like that we can actually tell, oh, that's water right there. It still does look a little close, where you might be like, I don't know. But, you know, maybe there's like a little stairway out here, a couple little steps that go down, and then you're on the beach or something. It doesn't have to be explainable. It just has to look nice. I think overall, this is a pretty nice look. But you know what would be cool is if we had a greater sense of sunlight coming through these windows and, and hitting right here. And that concludes part three. In part four, we'll add the artificial sun and we'll do our final renders. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer them. And great job making it this far. See you in the next part.